Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to look at some of the most important multiple choice questions in the Java subject. Let us see the first one. Dash is a process by which one object acquires the properties of another object. One object acquires the properties of another object. That means, take an object OB1, take another object OB2. Whatever the properties that OB1 is having, all the properties will come to the object 2 also. So, this process is called as inheritance. So, the answer is inheritance. Next one, dash is a mechanism that binds together code and the data it manipulates. Binding together code and data. See here, we have a data and we have the code that operate on this data. Okay. So, whenever we combine these two things, this is called as encapsulation. That is called as encapsulation. So, here the term binds is very important. Binding means encapsulation. See the next one. Dash is a feature that allows one interface to be used for a general class of actions. The specific action is determined by the exact nature of the situation. See here, whenever you see this term one interface and multiple actions, so the answer is always polymorphism. Or whenever you see this sentence, one interface, multiple methods, then also its meaning is polymorphism. You see the next one. Dash operator dynamically allocates memory for an object. The answer is A, that is a new operator. For example, see here, A is a class and for this class we are creating an object OB. Here, we are getting the memory for this object by using the new operator. Okay, So, the answer is new. See the next one, which of the following option? is related to a constructor. Options are constructor is used to initialize the objects and they are having the same name as class name and they can be overloaded and option D is all. So, the correct answer is all. To understand this, take this simple class. The class name is demo and this class is having two variables A and B. Now, see here this is called as a constructor because its name is same as the class name. So, option B is right and see the option A, it is used to initialize the objects. That means, what are the variables here? A and B. If you observe here, this constructor is giving values for A and B. That is nothing but initializing the object. And third one is, it can be overloaded. That means, in the same class, I can write one more constructor with the no parameters, which will provide default values like a is equal to minus 1, b is equal to minus 1. See here, we are having more than one constructor, so it is called as a constructor overloading. So, the answer is all. See the next one, which keyword is used to refer to the current object, current object. So, the answer is this keyword, this is a direct question. Next one, how many bytes the primitive data type integer occupies in Java? So, the answer is 4 bytes. Remember this, the long occupies 64, that means 8, 8 bytes, integer occupies 32 bits means 4 bytes, short 2 bytes, byte 1 byte. Okay, next one, ch1, ch2, both are character variables, ch1 is equal to 88, ch2 is equal to capital Y. What is stored in ch1? See here, we are giving 88 to ch1, right? So, 88 is the ASCII value of capital X. So, ch will get the value capital X. So, answer is B. 
next one what is the condition for java automatic type conversion the options are the two types are compatible option b the destination type is larger than the source type option c both a and b so the answer is both a and b for example you take a byte variable byte b is equal to 10 you take an integer variable into a so if i write a is equal to b now b is a byte type variable a is a integer variable now the question is will automatic type conversion occur or not the answer is see here the two types are compatible yes we know that byte and integer are compatible with each other so this is okay second one the destination type is larger than the source type so this is the destination a a is of type integer so it is 4 bytes and b b is of type byte so byte occupies one byte so destination type is larger than the source type so in this case the automatic type conversion will occur so here the answer is c both a and b see the next one byte b int i is equal to 257 and b is equal to byte of i so here i'm writing b is equal to byte of i so what is the value of i value of i is 257 the problem with this statement is i'm trying to assign 257 to this variable b but this b cannot hold this 257 what is the reason now we will see the reason so this the range of byte b is minus 128 to plus 127 that means plus 127 is the maximum value that the variable b can take but here i am trying to give 257 that means this b cannot take 257 so in this case how much value then b will take so the answer is if we count the values from minus 128 to plus 127 we will get 256 values 256 values so divide this number 257 divide 257 by the number of values that is 256 so it becomes 256 the remainder is 1 so whatever you get the remainder that value will be assigned to b so even though you are giving 257 but only one will be assigned it to b so the answer is a okay next one int a is equal to new int of 4 so here i am declaring an array by default all array elements are initialized to all array elements are initialized to 0 okay next one double y is equal to 42.25 what is the value of y modulus 10 that means 42.25 modulus 10 we all of us know this operator gives the remainder it will give the remainder that means divide 42.25 by 10 so we will get 10 fourths 40 the remainder is 2.25 so the answer is 2.25 but remember in c language you cannot apply this operator on the floating point values but in java it is valid okay next one dash refers to two or more methods in a class have same name and difference in number and or type of parameters so in a class we are having two methods with same name and difference in number and or type of parameters the answer is method overloading for example take a class class example 
and suppose here we have a method called m1 with no parameters and one more method with the same name m1 but this time we are having one parameter so here a single class is having two methods with the same name but difference in the number of parameters so this concept is called as method overloading next one in which type of argument passing only a copy of an argument is passed to formal parameters remember in argument passing concept whenever you get this term a copy then the answer is call by value okay next one dash or passed through their references the answer is objects next one dash is a process of defining something in terms of itself so direct question answer is recursion so defining something in terms of itself that means a method calling itself you can call it as a recursion right which of the following methods belong to the string class equals method caret method length method so all these three methods belongs to the string class so the answer is all